for the first time and had to get up my push more and crank it to get it started been sitting all winter i don't know if you can see that or not big old blister right there on the finger from cranking it cranking it and cussing cranking and cussing i'm telling you i love jesus but i will cuss every once in a while hope you guys are doing well and uh thanks for tuning in man thanks for all subscribers i'm getting and the thumbs up and the thumbs down on the video make sure you subscribe to my page if you uh if you haven't ring the doorbell over there and and uh, give me a likes up or a thumbs down on this on this video. I sure appreciate it, man. I really, really do. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about bending strings in tune. It's very, very important to play in tune. And I got an exercise for you today. I think you guys will like this exercise. It's, it's everybody knows their A major pentatonic, right? I got to ask the other day if I'm still got that PB around. Yeah, right there it is. It's Mickey Gillies Road case underneath it that goes in. And uh, great sound of that, man. It's really cool. I like it. No pedal board, just guitar. And anyway, everybody knows that major pentatonic, that A major pentatonic. Here's the G major pentatonic. What I want to do is I want to do that major pentatonic scale in G and bend up a step all the way to the A. So when you play bend in tune. Most of it's a full step. You got a couple of notes that are half steps. So here we go. You ready? Ready? Here we go. Full step. Half step. Full step. Full step. Half step. Full step. I mean, doing it that slow, I was a little pitchy myself. So let's try it again. See how that works? That if you'll do this exercise, it will help you play in tune and how to how to bend your strings and keep them in tune when you bend. When you're bending up a full step or half step, it's like full step here, half step, full step, half step, full step. You can go all the way down the neck. That's a really really cool exercise. I would highly recommend you guys working on that and working on your playing in tune. Playing in tune, man, it's really, really important when you're playing guitar and, or well, anything really, it needs to be in tune. And when you do those bends, you don't want to bend like this, you know, without tune. on this one more time we'll do it one more time half step full step half step full step let's keep going if you'll work on that it'll make you play a lot better man I promise one more time half step Full step. It's half step there, not, not that. You hear the difference there? I mean, I'm, I'm joking about a lot of stuff, but that's, you can hear the difference when I do it. I do it right when I do it wrong. Half step. That's in tune. Full step. Half step. So. It's really hard. That one's really hard.
put an extra note on that last one down there, down here. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. And uh, again, subscribe to my check, my page, and uh, tell somebody about me. I appreciate it. If you'd like to buy a guitar, man, I got guitars back here. If you looking for a certain guitar, let me know. Whether it's acoustic, electric, whatever. This is a uh, made Mexico Telecaster. Sounds great. I love it, Sting. I got some amps back here too, man. I got that that PV Bandit 65. I got an old Heritage amp over there. They both got road cases in them. And I've got, I don't know, I've got a, a Fender DeVille, I think, back here. Yeah, 410 Fender, Fender DeVille. And all, I got all kinds of stuff here, man. I guess that's enough for today, but I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you guys later on. Be sure and subscribe, y'all. Y'all turn it up and play really loud later.